so I was out working in the minus 40. That's real cold. Oh, I should be more careful. You're just slacking off, pounding the pooch. Bubba Box Truck Corey! Hey guys, Box Truck Corey here. This is your first time. Welcome. Please come back, check out all the upcoming build videos and my adventures around North America. It's going to be an exciting time. Today, we have the first tour of the tiny house box truck. The back porch is just about complete. I need your help to finish up a few little details, but we're going to get to that and we're going to have a tour for you. The build's coming along. A little slower than I would have liked with my health problems, but hey, it's uh, it's still been a lot of fun, and it's getting there. So let's uh, take a look. Got my little step stool. So here we have it. The back porch of my little tiny house. My future full-time van life home. Good to have one area done. Climb up here. Oh. Got my little flag on the wall over here. My bamboo wind chime. Love the sound of those. Of course, every little tiny house box truck cube van, box van, whatever you want to call it, needs a little moose coat hanger. It's my pet moose. <clears throat> Picked up this little pink flamingo in Florida. My mother gave him to me. She had had enough of him, but I thought he fit in really nice. Our little antler firewood pile gonna have some electrical back here but haven't got that done yet the screen door with my sorry we're drinking sign in it whoa oops that was bad Try that again with the handle. This is the job we have yet to finish that you're gonna help me with, guys. Got some roofing shingles to put on the peak here. We gotta fix this little gap. These boards aren't attached yet, they're just sitting in there. Loose. That's all that's left to finish this up. Gotta keep the skeeters out. I need that a little better. This window, I just picked up used for 30 bucks off of Kijiji, similar to Craigslist. This is my beach area, my beach theme. Got my sign there from the Flywheelers, little flea market in Florida. My little fins for scuba and swimming down below. And of course, my little chair to sit in, watch the world, 
have a few drinks and enjoy my retirement. Now that I'm terminal, I got to enjoy the time I have left. Got some little pockets to put a beer in or some snacks, you know, I could sit out here for hours and never have to leave. Well, I might need to get a cold beer. That's true. When I built the majority of this last fall, I was heading down to Florida for the winter. So it was minus 40 when I did most of this building. So I didn't record the actual build. It's, uh, it's just too brutal at that temperature. I just wanted to get it done quick. So you see the construction from the inside of the wall, but the rest of the build, you'll just have to imagine for yourself. But you know, some indoor outdoor carpet for grass. This is pretty cool stuff. I like it. This wood came from Home Depot, the used window, you know, screen door. I just bought a standard one, cut it down, and built a new wood top. Used window, you know, some decoration, some ornaments, but not a whole lot to it. Pretty simple, really. Inside, guys, I just built it like I was just framing out a, a wall in a house. It's uh, two by fours, a little plate at the top, left enough room for the door. And it just, uh, it's about the same at the bottom. Pretty well just a little shelf with the support in the middle to hold the window. Nothing complicated, like this isn't holding any weight. This isn't even, you know, this isn't in a house. So you don't have to worry too much about how you're building the wall. Now I could have probably did it in two by two instead of two by four, but it was uh, easier with the two by four and quicker. The smaller stuff, it just splits so easily. You got a pre-drill. I'm gonna tighten up this little uh, gap at the top of the door. It's uh, just your standard screen door from Home Depot. I cut a piece of plexiglass to put on the bottom half because I don't want my dogs going through it. And at the top, I just, uh, I had to shorten it, right? So I just cut it with the Sawzall, cut the screen a little wide and, you know, used some plates and built me a new top. doing a lot of sitting in this chair watching the world go by people watching doing some reading it's gonna be a good time I'm certain of that and the best thing about it is when I want to set up camp I just roll up the door crack open a beer and I'm good to go. Can you see me? Can you see me? I'm already relaxed. Just sitting here, living the life. Now you may have gotten to thinking, well, why would you build the back porch first? Like, don't you want a bed, a toilet, a kitchen? What's the back porch matter, really? Well, there's good reason for that. I was heading to Florida from Toronto, so I had to go through U.S. Customs. So I needed to make this place look as much 
like a little tiny house as I could in the short period I had to do it. And there's no way I was building the whole thing. I wanted to do some building once I got to Florida. But with US Customs, a single guy in a cube van, box truck, box van, whatever you want to call it, showing up at the border. Well, you know, looks a little weird. What, what is he doing? That empty big truck. It's, it's just, just a little off, a little fishy. So you got to try and look the part, at least a bit. If you don't want to look broke, homeless, crazy, a drug addict, a criminal. What else? I guess that pretty much covers it. So I was out working in the minus 40. That's real cold. Minus 40 is the same Celsius and Fahrenheit. So it's damn cold. And I uh, I got it to about this point. Really all that's left is to put them damn roof shingles up and fix that peak. Now, I think you guys have been slacking off. I really feel like I'm doing all the work. Could you get there, get me a beer, and get up there, finish the shingles, get that roof peak done? You're just slacking off, pounding the pooch, and I am sick of it. These shingles were just left over from a roofing job I did quite a while back when I was still working. Cut some to size, so basically, I just need to use this, slice them off. Won't take much. I'm just scoring these with a blade to cut them, and then they'll tear apart. Nothing to it. Just like that. Oh, I should be more careful. That one didn't come out too well. I cut them all slightly different sizes. I want them to look a little random as the edges come off. Well, I think I'm gonna use a staple gun to put them on because it's not like they actually have to stop water. Well, there we have it. Shingles are up, just a nice little detail. One more job done, and we have a finished back porch. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and click the notify bell so you catch all the future build videos. I'm going to be building out the rest of this truck over the coming weeks, and I'd love to have you around to see it.